so growing up in, I imagine you did a lot of drawing. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I grew up, I was always drawing a lot as a kid. Yeah. Did you still see yourself working in the art industry at all? Or I always wanted to. I, I always hoped to. I didn't know if I would for sure, but that was always one of my goals to work in a creative field, you know. Um, but I definitely drew a lot. Uh, I, I was one of those kids who, like, just early on in school, like elementary school, I, I just found that my drawings looked better than the other kids, and it just was something that I liked doing, and I was, <clears throat> excuse me, of course, into, like, Transformers and uh, G.I. Joe and He-Man, all the kind of stuff that was out at the time and popular, and, and I just enjoyed those things, and I wanted to draw them, so I'd go home, and I'd have sketchbooks full of my own little versions of, of those characters, and that's kind of how I got started drawing. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I imagine you just sitting there watching the cartoons. And... Yeah, I was definitely watching. Um, it kind of started with like Star Wars and those toys, and then and then I think He Man was next, and then or GI Joe probably, and then and then Transformers. But all of them had cartoons on TV, and like I'd rush home after school to see the cartoons, or sometimes they'd air before school, and I'd wait around to finish it before I'd leave. And yeah, so I was always watching those cartoons. Yeah, because I basically do the same thing, except I can't I can't draw. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's definitely an inspiration for those of us who can. You know? <laughs> right. How did you end up working on Transformers for IBW? Well, I, I went to school for art, but then I, I um, worked in graphic design for a long time. And uh, I got laid off, you know, this was like 2008 or so, the economy and stuff, and like I had a few layoffs and went back to work in design for a video game company, but then I got laid off again. And uh, I just sat down and started drawing again. I started posting stuff online, on websites, on um, things like DeviantArt. Um, IDW Publishing had a forum where they had a contest to be the next uh, Transformers cover artist. So I took part in that, there were like 500 people. I did really well, I placed in the top five. Um, that didn't lead to direct work, but I, um, I ended up getting contacted by an IDW editor a few months later saying, would you like to, to work on Transformers uh, movie comics for us? So that was kind of my first start, and I, it led into me doing movie comics, and then that went pretty well, so they gave me work on like the G1 Transformers comics. And since then, I've been lucky enough to work on whether it's covers or interiors, doing stuff for like ROM and GI Joe and uh, Mask and Micronauts, and a number of different IDW properties. And that led me to doing work for different different companies that do Transformers products. Like I did DVD covers when they re-released the G1 cartoons, which is really cool. Uh, so the South Factor releases. South Factor, yeah. I did the covers for the ones that came out like a few years back. Yeah. It was the various seasons. Um, so, and then I've done a good, good amount of work for Hasbro and things like that. So, yeah, so, it's, I, it's, DVDs, so I, I didn't know that you did those. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I didn't do the first season, but I did second, third, and fourth seasons, I think. Okay. And I did a big box set with the Matrix on it that you open up. Yeah. And uh, you open up, and there's like a, the, 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 the central uh, jewel or whatever. It's, it, it looks pretty neat the way they put it together. And it came with the magnet, too, because I have the magnet that came with it, too. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been pretty lucky with the things I've gotten to do. That's pretty cool. Um, if we once again to, you know, drawing comics for a living, mm -hmm. uh, what would you be your advice to, to them? Well, I mean, be good. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're good, come to shows like this and set up at Artist Alley. People will come by and notice you. You can build up a fan base, build up your confidence. Um, I would say post things online. I mean, uh, social media is great for getting noticed. A lot of people, a few people I've talked to here work on big projects and, and, and uh, they posted stuff on social media, media. The right person saw it and that led to them getting work. So these days, that's definitely a good avenue for artists. It's so like Instagram and Facebook and Twitter even, and, yeah. 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 Uh, I post a lot of stuff on DeviantArt that helped me build up a fan base. Um, so yeah. I, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I do a lot of, uh, I don't draw, but I, you know, I got hooked on the IDW because of, you know, the X-Files comics. That oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and now Back to the Future. Uh -huh. And I didn't know you guys had Transformers. I didn't know they had Transformers, too, as well. Which, yeah, they were, that Transformers was actually the first licensed book, I think. Um, they were doing a lot of horror books and independent, creator own kind of things. And then they got the Transformers license, and that led to G.I. Joe and different things, and um, it's just kind of not from strength to strength, as I say. That's pretty cool. Um, 
What are you working on now? Right now I'm working on a, I can, I can talk about it now, it was announced. It's a, <laughs> a prequel series for the Bumblebee movie they're making. They're making a Transformers movie just about Bumblebee. And I think that comes out at the end of the year. And we're doing a four issue miniseries that takes place in the 1960s in the, in the world of British spy movies. And things like uh, James Bond and the Avengers and um, uh, Man from U.N.C.L.E., all that kind of stuff. You know, like, I guess that was American. But um, yeah, so it's set in that world and it's going to end up leaving him in the position he's in where he begins the movie in the 80s. So. Do you actually get the chance to work in the movies by any chance? Or do you um, see on like the fifth movie, I did some um, uh, storyboards, I did some concept art, things like that. But but no, I haven't done very much in the movies. Okay. But I, I, I did do some of the fifth movie. And then, uh, final question. Uh, how do people get in touch with you if they want to see your artwork or buy some of your stuff if they can't make it to the shows like sure. this? Uh, most of my social media, I use uh, Glove Studios, like Glove on a Hand Studios. Um, or if you search my name, Andrew Griffith, and, and put Transformers in, like I'll come up for sure. So I'm pretty active on uh, Twitter, Store NV, uh, Instagram, uh, Tumblr, things like that. So that's generally how you find me. Well, thank you, Andrew. You're welcome. All right. And uh, enjoy your day. Welcome to Chicago. Thanks. I'd like to thank Andrew Griffith for sitting down with me and doing a little interview. Be sure to check out his stuff. I included a link down below as well so you can see some of his artwork and you can also buy some of it too. So be sure to check that out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you later on down the road.